Well hello everyone and welcome again to my channel, it's Abu Chikina and today is a great day because uh, we are finally going to react to Boruto episode 209 uh, We haven't had any episode uh, last week for god knows why uh, So um, yeah, if I remember correctly the last episode was about uh, Sara having her first Shidori in battle, uh, Borushki and uh, yeah, my boy Naruto has been saved so that's great and uh, things are really getting really good and we've seen a, a little sneak, sneak peek of Naruto's new transformation in the, the opening and uh, yeah so things are really getting heated and really good as far as the, sp uh, as far as the action and uh, the plotline and everything so uh, yeah for all you the anime fans out there who hasn't really gotten into Boruto I think I think it's time I think it's time to reconsider. I, I I understand why you wouldn't get into it, but um, yeah, I think it's time to reconsider. So, uh, why is the dog barking? So let's just get into it. All right, all right, let's go. Shit, I forgot my watermelon. Man. I've been saying something is missing, that was it. I don't know how we're gonna watch this episode. What the hell is happening? Wait, have I missed an episode? I don't think I'm missing. Is this a version or what the hell? Yeah, okay. Alright. This opening is pretty cold though. It grows on you. Although, it's not nearly as good as the... Uh, <laughs> Talk about generic. Yeah. I feel like I've already talked about this. Yeah, I've had the same comments about this opening the, <laughs> the episode before. But yeah, I, I don't think it's nearly as good as the, the, the opening before. But yeah. It's uh it grows in you too. It's uh, it's not bad. You see now just transformation there. Man, this is going to go down! Oh my god. The fuck you screaming for? Damn! <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. Okay, let's just skip this. <laughs> that boy came a long way, had his own family. Very nice. The outcast. She did looks fine though. He not on him already, of course. Hey, mama. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. Man, I feel like this is going to be a, a filler episode. And quite honestly, it is the time for it. Right after action. And you know, right at the heart of it, they, they, they put a lot of filler episodes like chipping in. So I'm not very super. Yeah, yeah, this is a filler. Yep, I might just end the action right here. Come on. I 
Отца. This is just comparing some sort of dog. Is this what we're doing now? <laughs> is this... <laughs> he's literally comparing himself to a dog. <laughs> and he's not half wrong. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if Himawari can, would either, would ever, you know, have a place or, or a spotlight or something important in the storyline, which I find not necessary, but if she has, I don't know, it wouldn't be bad, you know, as the Jinshiriki of QB. And a lot of you have been talking about that for a while, but I don't know. What are they not eating lunch together? They just skip from breakfast to dinner. Him, I worry, was out all day at that age. And did come home only at night, at dinner hours. What? <laughs> what, is, what the hell is this? We'll do it again tomorrow. And I can. I'm pissed out. Or more if I can not feel that episode. Okay. If they're. <laughs> If motherfuckers in Naruto and Boruto are like nearing light speed or you know stuff like that, why are they doing shit like that so slowly? But are they trying to be normal or? <laughs> he fought a bear and he lost. <laughs> Shaggy. <laughs> I wish the I wish the name she named him Shaggy. Yep, I was right. What the? What did I tell you? It is dead. Although it would be funny if he was just plain dead, or if he was just asleep and <laughs> she was all crying for now. But I I don't think that's what I'm gonna have. What's gonna happen? So, you know, Kawaki comes in and gives her a lecture about life, telling her that, you know, people do die, Himawari. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, you know, people die. <laughs> yeah, there is no other option. It is what it is. What it is. <laughs> yes, Himawari, for character development, is maturing, you know. When you refer is white like this, you're outcast. Oh! What? <laughs> racist, this is racism against whites! <laughs> the entire pack could have been destroyed. Aren't stupid enough. Saying that is by saying it. Fair enough, that's a possibility, you know? Life is not just white and black. It's nuanced. I should respect those wishes. In conclusion, it is what it is. <laughs> what, a, what an episode. You can get home by yourself, boy. Okay. I don't know exactly what they're doing this episode, but I think they might be, you know, working some kind of uh, developing the relationship between.
Kawaki and Himawari. In the way they could, as Himawari is a child. I hope, you can't, I hope you can't see this. There's a there's a big pimple over here or I don't even know what this shit is. Dang. That was harsh. <laughs> <laughs> man, wait a second, what are those? Just a second. What the hell are those? What are those? What are those shoes? What the fuck happened to the to to the to your sandals? What? What a power move though by Shikamaru. I don't know about that. I mean, the 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 village safety is at is at risk here. What are you talking about? Remember of this village. So we'll assume this is the end of the episode or whatever. Um, good. So we have had one of the slowest episodes I've personally seen in the series, which was not that bad either. Um, it does look like a filler episode, but uh, it, I don't think it is. It talks about uh, you know Kawaki and Himawari's development in their relationship a bit. Uh, in their own way about the whole dog story and everything and it's symbolism about a you know uh kawaki situation and comparing himself to a dog which was pretty funny and uh funny because it was kind of true and uh what else yeah i do still not understand shikamaru's position there uh, because it, it, I don't know, it, he was supposed to be the rational thinking guy besides Naruto, and that's why Naruto needs him in this village. He's kind of, he's, he's, he's the actual rational Hokage of the village, if Naruto and Sasuke were the light and the, and the, the, the Hokage and the shadow Hokage, Shikamaru would be the rational one behind the scenes who would actually make the objective decisions or impact Naruto into objective decisions so uh, for him to come and uh, you know I, I can understand the fact that he would still and uh, get behind Naruto still so uh, yeah yeah I, I can still understand in the end because uh, well it's Naruto so it is what it is but yeah it was <laughs> it was a fun episode to watch and uh, yeah, I mean, they, they're going to put the village safety at risk, which is why uh, Shikamaru is, uh, is, uh, is still, you know, very reliant or uh, I don't, I don't have the word, you know, the relationship between Shikamaru and Kawaki has not developed. It's, they, they didn't, it didn't get better. So uh, that I understand. So uh, yeah. Shikamaru still has to get uh, behind Naruto's decision and um, so yeah there's that. Kawaki is a member of the village now and uh, he can't do anything to change it. Now if he is going to be the one who changes to evil even though uh, if one thing is sure is that there is no 
villain in Naruto that is really evil, just for evil, just to be a villain. But yeah, I don't, I don't think he is going to be in the bad side. I think it might be, you know, I don't know if you've heard about the, the, the theory that Boruto is, is going to be the, in the bad side, uh, being controlled by Moshki, which is very interesting, but uh, yeah. So that's all I have to say about this episode, and uh, if you have anything else to say, add it in the comment downs below. Of course, I almost forgot what the hell are those, what are those sandals, are they just uh, Kawaki sandals or, or, are they, or, or do they buy them in the village too? Uh, I hope not, I hope it's not a new trend. If anybody, can, if anybody can answer that in the comments down below, that would, that would be great. And uh, thank you for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.